Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday. Today, we're thinking about some very sleepy lions. So let's get ready to have some fun. Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's Ignite Kids Does Sunday. Uh, last week we had so much fun in the family service and I hope that we have as much fun today whether we're in the building or whether we are at home with our mums and dads. Uh, today the story is Daniel and the Lions and Trevor will be bringing that to us a little bit later on. But before we start it's always good to have a song so let's wiggle our our bodies wiggle our fingers here we go here's the song Such a lot when you've got not a lot. What? Be happy. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Today's story is about a very brave man. A brave man who stood up against the crowd, stood up even against the king to do what he knew was the right thing and not give in to do the thing that wasn't right. Daniel is his name and he was one of the king's top advisors. But the other advisors were very jealous of Daniel's position of being like top dog. So one of the people who was jealous of Daniel 
went to the king and said, King, King, I think you are magnificent, your majesty. I think everyone should be made to worship you and only you. And the king said, well, that's very nice of you, but there's no need for all of that. Oh, but I think there is. I think we should all honor the king and only you, your majesty. Bow, bow. And the king said, okay. Oh, and king, there should be a punishment for those who do not worship you. Oh, which is a yes, said the king. Well, I think we should throw them into the den of lions. Hmm, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, that's a bit kind of vicious and cruel. Oh, but that's what we do to the worst of the criminals, Your Majesty. All right, we'll, we'll see to that. Okay, make that the rule. Well, they did. But of course, Daniel knew <coughs> you don't worship people. You don't worship a king. You worship only God. So he would not worship the king. And every day he would do what he always did. Three times a day he would go and he'd pray to God. And ask God to be with him and to help him. To do all the things he had to do. Help him with his job. And he prayed for other people as well. But he did it in front of a window. And people saw him. Oh look, Daniel is worshipping his God and not the king. We'd better go and tell the king. So off he went. Where is the king? The king, the king. Oh, king, king, we found somebody who doesn't worship you, but worships another god. The real god. We should throw him into the lion's den. And the king said, okay, who is it? It's Daniel, your chief advisor. Oh, no, said the king. We can't throw Daniel in the lion's den. I need him. He's a good friend of mine. But king, you made the law. We have to keep that law. Oh dear. So Daniel was thrown into the den of lions. Oh! But the lions were not hungry. They'd gone off their food and just snuggled up to Daniel all night long, which is nice because it kept Daniel warm. Because they're nice and furry lions. Uh, don't get too close because they're not always like that. And all night long, the king, he paced backwards and forwards outside the light and so worried about Daniel. Oh, I hope nothing bad comes to Daniel. And in the morning, he cried, Daniel, Daniel, are you there? And Daniel said, yes, king, I'm here. And it's a nice lion, isn't it? And the king said, oh, I'm so pleased you're all right. Well, the law said he should be thrown into the dead lines, and he had been. But didn't say anything about bringing him out again. So the king had Daniel brought out of the lion's den, and the men who caused trouble for Daniel were thrown in. And immediately the lions attacked them, and that was the end of them. And the story is really telling us we should stand up for what is right and do what God says. Okay, don't forget. Okay, so now it's time for Thinking Time. What a great story, Trev. The story of Daniel and the lions. Now, I've been thinking about this, and Daniel, he was very brave, wasn't he? He just wanted to follow God's ways instead of his friend's ways, the king. You see, that's right. Daniel and his and the king, they were friends. Uh, so much so that the king worried about him when he was in the lion's den. Now this got me thinking, sometimes we want to please our friends, don't we? When actually we shouldn't be pleasing our friends. So is there a situation at school where your friend wants you to do something that actually you know you shouldn't do? Is there something that your friends do that you believe would be against God's wish? Well, you just need to be a bit like Daniel. And what did Daniel do? He prayed about it. So that's what we're going to do now. We've thought about what the problem is, so you can think about that in your head, and then we're going to pray about it, and we're going to say, God, will you help us get through this? 
Okay, here we go. Father God, we thank you for the story of Daniel and of how he was brave standing up to his friend. And I pray, Lord God, for all the boys and girls, all the mums and dads and anybody else watching, that you'd help us to be brave too. Help us to stand up for what is right. Help us to stand up for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, you know what time it is. Reds versus Blues. Okay, everybody, it's very tense here in the studio. It's time for Reds versus Blues. It's anybody's game. It's my game. Uh, anyway, uh, so Blues, woohoo! We are winning by two points, but to be honest with you, this game is super duper hard. You thought last week's was hard. This week, I think, I think Robin has the edge. I'll be honest with you. I'm sorry, Blues. I think she's got the edge on this one. Uh, so there's no cup involved this week. It's just a dice and a ping pong ball and a table. So what you have to do is you put your dice in front of you, you bounce your ping pong ball, you pick up the dice, and then you catch the ball on its way down. So the ball is not allowed to bounce. If the ball bounces, You've got to start again. Here we go. Bouncing a ball, picking up a dice. We're going to give it a go. We could do it. We could do it. Red team. Red team. Okay. We need to pick up the, the points. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to change balls. This one, I don't like the colour. <coughs> okay, I'm going to go for the darker blue. I think it's a uh, better bouncer. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, that's a good bouncer. That's a bouncer. Do you want team out You see, see blues, you can see your red. It's up there. <laughs> But I'm not doing my Right, tick! Okay. I've got a ball. <laughs> right. Okay, so I've got a ball, I've got a dice, you've got a dice and a ball. Bounce the ball, pick up the dice, catch the ball in the same in hand. The same hand. Good luck to me. Here we, we go. Can do it. Ready, steady, go. Did I did it! it! <laughs> we drew! Oh did my again? goodness, we did it! Right, we've got to go again. I can't believe that. I can't believe it either. Three, Ready, two, steady, go. Go. Did it. Okay, so yeah! reds, blues, I'm really sorry. I actually did it in one. I can't believe it. I'll be honest with you, I am I'm absolutely chuffed. But well done, Bob. Okay, everybody, that's nearly it for us for this week. I hope you've enjoyed our uh, Ignite Kids Does Sunday for this week. Uh, Reds versus Blues, why not have a go? It's not as easy as it looks, but have a go anyway. Let me know how you're doing with it. Uh, just to let you know, uh, this uh, this Monday, we've got Ignite Life Group. This Friday, we've got Ignite Extra, as always. You don't have to book for either of them. Um, but the following week, during half term, we will not be having Life Group and Extra. You can have a week off. Uh, I can't believe it's nearly half term already. Uh, if you go to Alberton School and you're in Key Stage 2, look out for Hayley and myself on a Tuesday because uh, we'll be running Lunch Club again this coming week. Okay, so I'm going to pray now and then it's time for you to go and have lots and lots of fun. So shall we wiggle our fingers? Here we go. Ready? Ready? One, two, Three, Lord God, we thank you for the story of Daniel and of how he was so brave. Help us to be brave too. Whatever the situation, help us to always be brave and know that you are always with us just like you was with Daniel. And God, I pray for all the boys and girls and all the mums and dads and everybody else watching that they would have a fantastic week. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, everybody, we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.